Why don't one bot? It's very early, Jimmy. What are you talking about? No, oh, this is, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so I think uh, one of the, so obviously the audience yesterday, we had um, <clears throat> the Australian teams and also the India teams on, um, and both the India teams. So we had the, the on-site teams, the engineering teams, and the GSD team. And the, the discussion was around, like, you know, when uh, when you feel an incident might be critical or when you feel it warrants a P1 and, the, you know, erring on the side of, ah, oh, do, I, do I ring the alarm bells and make it a P1 or do I <clears throat> spend some more time figuring out what the case is? And the, the example I gave them was we had a, a, a Max purchasing P1 in Australia a few months back where the, the team said, you know, we can't use the system, we can't complete our work orders, we can't get any product out the door, this is massively impacting us, what do you do about fixing it immediately? And I made it a P1 to get someone from the Max team to fix it. And the Max team raged and said, it's it was just slow, like it was just performance degradation, this happens every day, you can't make a P1 every day about this system, you, it's not, you know, you don't have permission to do that. And Christian said, well, actually, it impacted the business that stopped, you know, $20 million worth of gear getting out the door. That's a P1 to the business. And if your system's shitty and slow every day, that's your problem. But if, you know, if we need to champion the customer and make it a P1 to fix their issue, then we will. And you can sort it out later, to be honest, once it's handed over to you. So the, the example was, you know, if you decide that this is massively business impacting and it warrants the, the level of a P1 and then maybe it has to be downgraded later because it turns out it's a known incident or, you know, the, the more information is out of your sort of control or you don't have it still pull the trigger on the p1 up front and you know wake the people up or get the people moving if you believe it warrants it and if we downgrade it later because maybe you overreacted or maybe it's all right it's not as bad as we first thought better to be safe than sorry Yeah, that was the case. So there was only three users that used the software that were impacted, and that was the challenge. They're like, it's three people, and it's always this bad. And we said, sure, but today the impact to them and to the business, you know, in this instance, is you know millions of dollars worth of you know sales that won't be made. So it it meets the criteria. It meets you know significant impact to the business. Varok Sarfang, son of Koruk, supreme commander of the might of Kalimdor, high overlord of the Horde. He led the charge against the Lich King. He defended our world from the Legion. Sarfang inspired all of us to strive for true honor, and his legacy will live on in our deeds. When the Alliance and Horde marched on Ankaraj, it was Saurfang who valiantly commanded our combined forces. Today, his courage saved thousands of lives on both sides of the battle. His sacrifice will never be forgotten. You have earned your warrior's death, old friend. Now, greet your son with Honor and glory. Fatality! Fatality!
Fatality! Fatality! Fatality! 